Just finished my morning Bible study on my newly painted rocker. Hope you enjoyed that show. I did paint two coats. I didn't uh, leave it to where you could see the color coming through. I changed my mind. I didn't like that rustic look. I like the solid. And this is today's project. Yes, these tables have memories as well. This three-tier heart table has been with me everywhere. I believe I bought it at a craft show about 30 years ago, 20 years ago maybe. And it has been painted once. It was pine, I do believe. I think the table was like 20 bucks or something. I just love it. And I've placed it in various places in the houses that I've owned and rented and all that good stuff. Aha! Yesterday's message. Don't let the enemy steal your joy. Time for a new message. Let's see what we got going on here. How about we pick from the Entrepreneur Collection today? Oh, there you go. Make consistent effort, plan your work, work your plan. I think I will. Shut this. So that will be my focus for the day. Cute little incidentals here we'll talk about later. And this table I'm going to paint. Um, one I'm gonna use milk paint and one I'm gonna use chalk paint. This table comes apart. The legs unscrew. I bought this for craft shows as a display piece when you walk into my booth. Um, probably, I don't know, 10 years ago maybe. But uh, yep, these are two simple projects. Gonna paint them two different colors. Hope you'll join me. Simple life, new day, new project. I'm excited. Today, we're going to do an easier project than uh, the rocker that I did and showed you already. Hope you enjoyed that. It's a little round table. It does all come apart, but I tried to, I think you need a special um, cranking tool to get it apart, so I'm going to paint it. I'm going to leave it all together. I put my table up that I store on my porch. Literally last minute, I decided to paint this Highland blue. Here's the color. I've already stirred it. It's a pretty color. I was trying to match it to the color in the carpet. Whew, I spent days looking for <laughs> the right color in daylight, nighttime, different lighting. And I thought I had nailed it, and I don't think I did. So I'm just gonna, I'm going to just accept it rather than return it. Because I'm excited to paint this and uh, get away from the stark white. So with no further ado, I do have another project too. So today that I'm going to show you. Let's start with the tabletop. Let's start with the big. Hmm, I should have, uh, I thought I had cleaned it well, dusted it. So I'll just a little mark there. I probably won't be showing you like as I paint the whole, <laughs> the whole shebang here. Let's see how this color is going to turn out. I know we can always change it if we don't like it, right? I'm using my go-to brush, the one with the slant. I don't know, can you see that it's slanted? I've got a tarp on the floor for those of you who might have not seen the last show where I painted the rocker. And this is a dry for 30 minutes, or let it set for 30 minutes and then do a second coat. This is milk paint. It's rust -oleum. it's less expensive than the paint I used for the rocker. And you can see all of these colors and things that I'm using in my Amazon wish list, where I'm an affiliate, and you know the rest, right? 
I have to uh, disclose that making a small commission. I hate saying that all the time, it, like gets old. Uh, yeah, we're gonna definitely need a second coat. Maybe, and it's shiny, so the lines come through. No, I didn't sand the rocker, and that had a like an, a, a lacquer. But it turned out really nice with that paint. This ran me about $21 for 32 ounces. And the, the other paint was, I think, about 26. I wanted to get a smaller, but it didn't come in smaller. So there it is, Rust-Oleum Milk Paint. Can you see? I'm being dangerous by holding that up while it's open. I've got a little tray table on the side. I'm pretty excited by this. And I think I'll take my little smaller brush to do the spindle, the spindles. And then, um, I don't know, we'll just be flipping it around. This is easy peasy compared to tackling that rocker. And the rocker turned out beautiful, I must say. I must say so myself. At least I like it. There's some little bit of flaws, you know, a couple drips that I didn't catch or something like that, but I don't know. That's just part of the fun of doing this yourself, right? You make mistakes, you go on. Woo! -hoo. Cool. Yeah, the color is, huh. the color's a little bit more green than I wanted. Hmm. Huh. But it is a color that's, I think it's pretty in style, right? I could not find, for the life of me, a teal color that matched the carpet. That's okay. It's still going to be pretty, and you can blend lots of different colors of blues together, right? Just like the ocean. Just like a sunset, I'm blending blues, I'm bringing nature inside. I think it already looks better as I just go over a little bit right now. I always have that temptation, you know, to just want to paint it right now. Okay, I think I need to stop and we'll get the bottom later. I probably should put my readers on. So... Yeah, maybe I'll continue to show you the project here in just a few. All righty, well, what do you think? The most fun so far was taking this teeny weeny brush. Boy, I hate when the bristles start going out. Does that mean it's a cheap brush? I don't know, I think this was four or five dollars. Hey, and that's not wish list where these items are. That's my my link to my Amazon store. Duh. And uh, that's in the description. It's, it's easy. Amazon.com slash shop slash Serene and Simple Life. The most fun so far that I've had was going around the edge here, this nice and smooth. Now I'm taking this to do the, as you can see, the little, I don't know, I'm calling them spindles, but they're not really spindles, or are they? Does it matter? Does it really matter what they're called? <laughs> and then we'll just go on the other side here. Hello. We'll move this over a little bit so you can see. And take our time and go around. Not too shabby. I decided uh, to paint this, the Highland Blue, and the heart table, the mustard, or the vintage mustard. I was going to go and paint this the yellow, uh, the mustard, but um, I decided, you know, oftentimes in uh, comments, I, hello, I uh, put a little yellow heart with your comment, a little sunshine. So I'm gonna call it my sunshine heart table. You know how I like to give things names. 
So I don't know what you can see, but I'm just going to be spinning around here doing these spindles. I think it's actually easier that I didn't take it apart because I would have paint all over my fingers as I spin it. And this is fun. Don't really have to do underneath because it's just that particle board. And we don't want to get too carried away. We'll just put a second coat on. It's amazing how a second coat just makes it, uh, <laughs> all the lines go away. Yeah. I think I need a little bit more up top though. Just a little dabble, do you? Yeah. Oh, I already got like a, one of those bristles on the table. I hate that when that happens. So we'll just keep doing the spindles and then I'll show you when I put a second coat on the okay, table I, I want to show you a little more. <laughs> so interesting. I mean, my brain just doesn't stop with thoughts, you know, but uh, practice does make better. I never like to say practice makes perfect because what is perfect? No one's perfect except for Jesus, right? So practice makes better. Another little saying for you for today. But as I was doing these spindles, I found myself with the technique of the brush, you know, going down and it just seemed to go so smooth and also the amount of paint on the brush. And I'm, uh, I'm pretty excited by this. I like the color. It's like an ocean just like an ocean blue. <laughs> I don't have a name for this table. So we'll take the, the slanted brush and go down here and do a little bit on this little flat surface. Such a cute table. I had two of these and I sold one. And oh my gosh, you would have thought that she hit a million dollar jackpot. She just loved it so much. I ordered it online, um, like I said, years ago. And it's just always been a sweet little decorative table. So not too bad. Woo! Shouldn't have done that. Yep. I'm excited to get the second coat on here. And I think we'll take this little brush not think this is what we're doing the little brush and just go around go around the edge although i hit into the actual table part here when i do that too i don't know is it because i needed a narrower brush i wasn't going to buy you know 10 brushes <laughs> i'm a make do type girl even if it means that it, you know, is uh, a little harder or isn't going to be as, as nice. But I'm just happy that I can, I can do this, that, uh, that I'm just, that I'm doing it. <laughs> it's a fun project. And I've only been at this maybe, I don't know, 20 minutes, half hour at the most. So now we'll do, I guess we'll use the slanted brush for these legs, but I'm thinking I want to put the table on its side after this dries to paint these. I don't know, let's try it with just the little slant rather than the flat part. Yeah, it's okay. I'm gonna go around here, but I think I'll be more comfortable if I just Put it on its side. I'm not sure. I can't get the very bottom because I don't have a covering on this table, even though this is water, water base. I think I said water paint the other day. I meant water base. <laughs> Many of you know me by now. I get my words mixed up. Yeah, I just might have an easier time of it if I put it on its side. But it's looking like this too. 
I will show you now once I do the how nice the uh, surface will look with the second, second coat time. I'm excited. <laughs> yes, that high pitched nonsense, right? Okay, let's do it. Looking pretty. This is like the most fun whenever you know that it's going to cover all these white lines and all these brush strokes and you get to see like your finished product. Just a little bit of paint. Sometimes I forget that I can use like the whole brush, just brush it on, brush it on. Just getting used to the whole, yep. Not aspiring to be a furniture painter, as I mentioned, but uh, by the time I'm done with these four different pieces, I, I will uh, maybe know a little bit more about what I'm doing. Looking pretty, huh guys? What do you think? You like it? And I'm also now going to use this Highland Blue on the keepsake wood boxes. For those of you who are new, you've got to go to sayitdisplayit.com. I design daily inspiration cards and they come with a uh, beautiful keepsake wood box in two different sizes. So uh, this, these, the picture of this paint and these boxes are not on my website yet. So you would have to put in the comments, I want a Highland Blue box. So jot that note down in your brain or otherwise. Highland Blue. So there you have it. Second coat on the top. Not sure there's a little bit of white coming through there. Maybe I uh, need, to, I, I was pressing too hard maybe. Pressing too hard, use the whole brush, beautiful. Yeah, there's something going on there with the, this little bit of white here. I don't, I don't know, what is that? Why, why is that? So we'll just go, ooh. Was it not dry enough? It's been over a half hour, so I don't know. Maybe we'll just let it go and uh, retouch it, right? Okay, on to the next project, which is the Vintage Mustard, and this is my sunshine table. <laughs> All right, hope you are enjoying my painting projects. Hope this will also inspire you to do some uh, facelifts on some of your furniture, either using milk, milk paint or Chalk paint, I will be uh, painting boxes in vintage mustard as well. So that'll be the next show. And with that, blessings in your day. Enjoy in your journey and in your paint projects, in your paint facelifts.